Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 7. We're really excited about having a bigger workspace, giving everybody uh, adequate workspace to do their jobs. The Reno Police Department will soon have a new place to call home. That is tonight's 2 News Big Story at 7 o'clock. Yeah, the Reno Police Department's main station will be moving pretty soon after a vote from the Reno City Council earlier today. I'm Ryan Cannon. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, today the City Council voted 6-1 to one to approve millions in funding to buy a new building for the Police Department. And the City will now move forward to purchase the RGJ building at the corner of Coonsley Street and Sutro Street. Michelle Lorenzo is live at City Hall now for us. Michelle, I imagine Reno police officials are pretty excited about this. That's right, Ari. The Reno Police Department is very happy, and they say now the real work begins. Uh, now uh, now that we've purchased the property, now we got to start doing all the improvements, and, and obviously with those improvements, there's costs associated with it. The RGJ building has been sale, uh, been for sale for over a year, and the police department received $7 million for the land and the building. The agency's current building will be sold, and the cost of that property will go towards the purchase of the new building, as well as improvements. What we want to do is we want to consolidate a lot of services that we have dotted throughout the city and bring them all into one location under one roof so that we can be more efficient at delivering service to our community and we think our response times are even going to improve. Officials say they plan to start the move by November of next year and hope to finish getting everybody in one roof by mid-year 2021. Now, the Reno Police Department's vision is to create a public safety center, which is meant to help victims of all kinds and allow better access for the community. And officials say this new addition will be beneficial for both police and the community. Covering the story, Michelle Lorenzo, 2 News.